Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to know how I got this look, please keep on watching. I already filled in my brows with the Dip Brow in Auburn and the So Susan Jewel Brow Powder. I'm then going to take my concealer and clean up underneath them for that super sharp look. I wouldn't do this for an everyday look, but since we are using a lot of shadows on our eyes, I want them to look really clean. You could skip this step and just bring down the concealer onto the lid, but I do prefer the MAC Paint Pot to prep my lids for shadows. As a transition shade, I'm using this neutral light brown. A transition shadow helps the darker shadows placed on top blend out seamlessly. On the lid, I'm going to use this really shimmery light peach shade. This is gorgeous. I'm going to take it all the way up to meet that light brown shade. To warm up the eye, I'm taking a red base brown and just smoking that out in the crease. Since there is quite a bit of shimmer going on, take a matte shadow to apply on the brow bone to balance it out. I'm concentrating this deep plum colour in the outer crease. As you can see, it's just added a bit more depth to the eyes. I'm using the lighter shade in the palette and concealing the under eye and the inner corner. I'm taking that deep plum again on a flat brush and just focusing the shadow as close as possible to the lower lash line. I'm placing it on an angle in the inner corner for that feline effect. I'm blending that line out with a pencil brush and that red brown colour, then using a fluffy brush to further smoke out that lower lash line. I'm lining the waterline with a brown rather than black to give off that smoky effect without being too harsh. Taking that same vanilla colour we previously used I'm placing it in the space between the brown and the lower lash line. I'm then blending it out into the inner corner to brighten up the eyes. Next, I'm prepping my skin for foundation. The reason I use this brush to apply primer is because I love the way it creates that thin layer over the surface of the skin for a smooth finish. Just like my last tutorial, I'm using an angled contour brush to apply my foundation. By dabbing your foundation on the areas you need more coverage, it will ensure a flawless airbrushed finish. You will also notice I don't always use every brush the way it's supposed to be used. There's no rules with makeup. Use what you feel works best for you and always have fun. Now to highlight. I'm using MAC's Prep and Prime Highlighter. 
applying it to my under eye area, the middle of my chin, down the bridge of my nose and the middle of my forehead. Then blend it all out with a beauty blender. To set everything in place, I use Well Rested and just look at how bright and smooth it makes everything. I love it. To create that sharp contoured edge, I'll always use a contour brush and just focus the product in the hollows of my cheeks. I decided to blend it out with a duo fibre brush and also put a bit of contour powder on the sides of my forehead. For my glow today, I'm focusing the highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones. The blush I'm using has a slight shimmer which will create that dewy effect. Put on a light coat of your favourite mascara because we're going to apply a lot of lashes next. Now for lashes. I'm loving this combo from Velour. It's the hashtag winging on the top, then a few of the smaller clusterholics on the bottom. When applying the clusters, I leave a tiny gap between them and start from the outside in. I don't like them laying flat to my face, so I try to let them set poking outwards, if that makes sense. This lip paint is my absolute favourite out of the Galactic lip paints. It's such a gorgeous color. And that's the finished look. If you like this look, please give it a big old thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.